For my vacation to Sub-Saharan Africa, I went to Cape Town, also the capital of South Africa. I stayed in a boutique hotel in a one-bedroom room. Then I went to visit the Castle of Good Hope. The Castle of Good Hope was built between 1666 and 1679 and is the oldest, oldest existing colonial building in South Africa. Oh. After that, I went to visit Camps Bay, which was established in 1713. Then I went to visit the Table Mountain Aerial Cableway, which is a state-of-the-art cable car transportation system offering a five-minute scenic ride to the top of Cable Mountain. Later, I went to the Kalahari Desert to visit the Trans Frontier Park. This park is located largely within the southern Kalahari Desert. The terrain consists of red sand dunes, sparse vegetation, occasional trees, and dry riverbeds. From there, I headed north to Chobe National Park in Botswana. While there, I seen Springbok. The Springbok gets its name from the habit of leaping up, up to 9 feet in the air when startled or at play. Then I seen Sacred Iris. The sacred ibis is a social bird that lives in flocks and has a long, narrow beak that is used to find food in mud and water. Did you know that a hippopotamus can weigh up to 3,300 to 4,000 pounds and can run up to 19 miles per hour? Then I seen elephants, which are known to be the largest land animals in the world. I then seen giraffes, which are the tallest terrestrial animals and the largest remnants. Lastly, I seen a group of lions, which is actually called a pride of lions. Later, I went to Victoria Falls in Zimbabwe. Victoria Falls is a waterfall in southern Africa on the Zambezi River at the border of Zambia and Zimbabwe. While at Victoria Falls, I took pictures of the amazing scenery and went swimming at the top of the waterfall. After that, I went to the Zambezi River. After that, I went through Malawi, Tanzania, Burundi, and Rwanda. Then I went to Uganda to visit the Kavali Forest National Park. This park is 766 square kilometers in size and is located between 1,100 to 1,600 meters in elevation. Then headed east into Kenya to visit Nairobi. The first half zone is a house for the wealthy. The other two pictures are examples of poverty. I later went to Mogadishu in Somalia. I then visited a few beaches while touring. Lastly, I went to Timbuktu. It was designed in 1988 and was a thriving center of scholarship instrumental to the, to the spread of Islam in Africa.
And that concludes my vacation to South Africa.